Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can use Clockify. Clockify is a free time tracker for teams but also for yourself if you want to use it and I believe after finishing this video you will exactly know how to use it. So let's start tracking time, it's free. Now you can sign with the Gmail or normal mail. I'll just add here my normal mail. Create free account. Oh, it already exists, so I will go like this. And voila, here we got it. So, straight away we are in the dashboard, and that's great. On the left side, we can see the time tracker. Then we can have calendar here. Then you can have dashboard, or what was happening. Then you're gonna see reports here. Then you can manage your projects. Manage your team, clients, tags, and then settings. Where you can edit everything. When you go to the top right corner, you can see that you got the dark theme here that we are going to enable because dark is good. And also, if you're going to work in the evenings like I do, dark theme is going to be best for you. <laughs> but of course, you can disable it if you want to. You can click again to profile settings and you can change your profile picture here and you can change your personal information like your name and email and also change your email notifications and time settings. Like week starts, day starts. Then to the right, you can also download the apps for Android iOS if you want to. Then next to the upgrade, you're gonna see your workspace and you can manage them and you can simply create a new workspace. So let's say that you want to have a workspace for different project. So let's say that I want to have a workspace for YouTube or for a new client, you can do that. Just create a new workspace and workspace name, YouTube. Create and I can simply activate it and I can simply uh, move between workspaces. So you can go to settings of the workspace and then you can change the company logo here. Uh, you can also activate the timesheet. You can see on the top left that we can reactivate it and timesheet is like for every single day if you want to. You can also workspace will be rate. You can change the default value of each will be hour when there is no user of project hour rate. You can change the currency. When you create a project, make it public so it's available to all users and billable so its time entries are set and billable. You can make it billable or no. And who can see billable rates, admins or everyone. And group projects by department, category or custom. Again, you choose that. Who can create tags, who can, these are like the simple settings that you can edit if you want to. And these are the premium features that you need to like upgrade to access it. Then you have alerts here, accounts, often creation. And for all of that, you need to have an upgraded version and you can also import data here. So let's just start for the tutorial. Time tracker. Now I can just simply write what I'm looking for. YouTube video. I can simply click plus here, add project. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to add a project name, uh, YouTube channel. I can select simple client. And if I don't have clients, I can simply add one. So let's go with Jessica. Create Jessica client and I can have templates, but you need to upgrade the version. Now I'm going to choose it to red because like YouTube channel is red. Let's create and voila. Here we got a YouTube video on project YouTube channel Jessica. And now I can simply add a tags here like YouTube. Create YouTube tag and then I can see like if it's going to be billable or non billable. And let's just click start. But definitely in settings, you need to do one thing is to workspace build rate. I can change that to go. We'll apply this rate to all entries that don't have any project team rate. What is the new build rate? Let's go like 15. And all past and future, all entries from now save. Now I go back to time tracking. Let's go again to YouTube video. We simply click the project, YouTube channel Jessica, tag YouTube and billable. Let's click start. You can also see everything here like the time. 
you can just add a time if you want to or just simply start the timer and voila here we got it while it's going to load i'm going to show you how we can see it in calendar so we see it here at 4 pm right now it started but we can also like schedule things then we have dashboard here when you would see a uh, top project you can switch between availability and project here only me or my team and reports are really simple you can see everything here like detail weekly shared and then we're gonna see the project and you can simply go to top right and create a new project we can add the project name let's go i don't know pinterest strategy select client i can add a new client and let's go with Parker. change colors to this one create voila here we have our pinterest strategy then we have team here that i can add multiple people and add new members that's also really pretty simple and then i have clients here so again i can go and i don't know archive and i can add a new client we got and voila this is how you can add clients really simple really easy now the time tracker i'm just going to click stop and right now i can see that okay it was youtube billable from this time i can duplicate it or delete it in dashboard i'm going to see that we got like nearly two minutes what can i do is just go to let's say again it was automatically added from before i can click stop here and let's say that i'm going to click time and add like it was happening from 3 to 4 and click add nice and voila here we got one hour of work i can have summary here so okay we got a one hour of work of billable hour and that's 15 dollars and that's really amazing now what can i do again is to do the same thing but i'm going to choose not today but let's say it was yesterday and from 2 p.m and so we can see here that yesterday it was from 2 p.m to 4 and it was two hours i can simply delete uh, the time tracking or no and when i go to dashboard i can see that yesterday i was working for two hours today for one one hour i can go with billability it was two hours that's 30 usd and today was 15 usd really like top-notch thing then in reports i can see it here i can be detail of what was actually happening like four four seconds one minute 35 one hour two hours i can go with a weekly and share with other people so this is pretty much it how you use clockify i hope this video was helpful uh, clockify is a really amazing tool that you can use and i think like everyone should try it out if you want to do the time tracking so thank you very much everybody for watching uh let me down below in the comments if you have any questions i'm here for you have a great day guys and goodbye see ya